Hi there, it's Carly from Baltimore, Maryland. Hi there, it's Tina Armstrong from Tacoma. I'm known for the F-bomb zine. Hi there, my name is Deirdre Prudence and I'm from the Los Angeles area and I create Gag Me With a Zine. I'm Keith Landrum and I make every reason. And you're seeing us in live action because we need your help. Because we need your help. But first, but first, we must supply you with a backstory. I think I met Carly first. I met Deirdre, Keith, and Tina online through some sort of magic. I don't even remember how. I met Deirdre um, through We Make Zines and I was answering a call for submissions for her zine Gag Me With a. <laughs> this happened, but all of a sudden it was like an explosion of some sort and we were just together, like as this weird little subculture group in the zine group. So I met Tina when she submitted to my zine Gag Me With Her. She was there from the very first issue and she used this pen name, God. She still uses that pen name sometimes and I really don't even know who Tina is, quite honestly. I met Deirdre through Carly, I think. Deirdre didn't even um, submit to my zine yet. I think she just wanted to trade. I met uh, Tina through those two girls. I met Carly through We Make Zine, um, answering a submission uh, request for the filth. And we became pretty fast friends and... Deirdre or Carly who told me about Tina, but uh, one of them did. I met Carly through Tina and we started writing to each other and submitting to each other's zines and became fast friends and I met Keith through contributing to his zine Every Reason and Keith knew Carly and Keith knew Tina and Tina knew Carly and everyone knew each other and together we just formed Voltron. And then um, I think that's how I met Keith was through Carly. She suggested that I become his friend. So we all just kind of like banded together and formed this like, you know, mega zine, we bought, you know, Megatron zining family thing. It was amazing. So, one day, we came up with this idea, and we were like, hey! 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 Hey, we make our own zines. We all make our own zines, because, you know, I do the filth. Keith does every reason, Deirdre does gag me with that, and Tina does F-bomb, so... But what would happen if the four of us banded together? Made one epic, amazing mother of all zines. A zine is a self-published magazine that's privately funded and distributed. It could be a four-way split. It could be a four-way split! It would take over the zine world and have a mind of its own. Did you know that's, like, everybody's main mission, right? Taking over some sort of world. A zine that not only featured fiction and creative non-fiction. Micro-fiction. Poetry. Prose. And maybe even a recurring column or two. Who wouldn't love that? I mean, who wouldn't love that? Right? Am I right? And we'd be making exactly what we love to read. Something with substance, style. And sorcery? No. And snake oil. Mm, too messy. Sex? Well, maybe. Schmegma? Gross. Subtlety? Um, sure, whatever. So, we all began writing. So, we began writing. So, we began writing. This idea hit us. 
We should go to Portland to the annual zine symposium and debut our zine there. Portland is the hub of zine activity on the west coast after all. What better way to get our zine out there and have other zinesters spread the word about it than to sell them in Portland? The decision was made and the plan was set in motion and... Tina saved all her change from the laundry. Carly stole money from her lover's wallet. <laughs> what the fuck, babe? It's like all one. I kinda hustled my ass off on the street corners. But try as Keith might, he just couldn't afford the plane ticket to Portland. Until someone told us about Kickstarter. Until someone told us about Kickstarter. <laughs> and how we might be able to petition our friends, family, fellow Zinsters, Con contributors and even strangers to help us on our journey to get our zine sorrow pants sorrow pants zine sorrow pants zine sorrow pants printed bound and debuted at portland zine symposium in 2012. sure us girls could just go and do it but somehow it just wouldn't be right without keith there because he's like you know he's our testosterone and incidentally and this would also happen to be the first time any of us met each other in real life. Can you even imagine what might happen should we all occupy the same space? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. My. God. So if you can find in your heart to donate even just a few dollars, even five bucks would make a dent. And all of us would be extremely grateful for your existence. It's forever and ever, amen. We need money to get this thing off the ground and take it from visceral to tangible. Mostly what we need is funding to print 1,000 copies and to pay for shipping, to mail them all over the world and to different distribution sites. We also need help to get us to Portland so that we can all be together and debut our zine and split the thousand copies four ways. So, we have some cool incentives, if you do mean. So here's the pitch. Five dollars will get you a surprise award. And this reward will not suck. Fifteen bucks gets you a copy of Sorrow Pants and an exclusive Sorrow Pants sticker made by none other than Keith himself. $25 gets you an exclusive Sorrow Pants sticker, a postcard signed by all four of us mailed from Portland, and a copy of Sorrow Pants, the zine. $50 bucks gets you an exclusive Sorrow Pants sticker, a postcard signed by all four of us mailed from Portland, and a copy of Sorrow Pants zine, and a photo album with all of our times, trials, triumphs, and drunken debaucheries, I'm sure, at the Portland Zine Symposium. A hundred dollars, or more, you know, if you just happen to have this laying around, gets you everything we listed above, but you'll also have your name and likeness appear in a fiction story in our second issue, and a likeness will be drawn, hand drawn, from a picture of your choosing. And whichever name you give us, we will use. So not only do you get to be totally awesome and generous, but you get the chance to be braggadocious to your friends for donating to our cause. Also, we'd like to preemptively say thank you very much. Thank you! For making four crazy kids' dreams come true. We've all worked so hard on this project to see it come to fruition by donation is really such an awe-inspiring thing to see. Peace. Thanks. We'll see you in Portland. So thanks, and see you in Portland. Donate! Donate to our zine project! Donate and make Sorrow Pants something beautiful that you can hold in your hands.